fresh off a of sand in the carpet test that only scored around 27%, let's do a 10 grams of baking soda in the carpet and see how well it does. But don't feel too bad for this Turbo Power 5000, only scoring what it did in the sand test. Take a look at my Dyson DC25 and DC65, because the Turbo Power beat them both. S half a bag weight. We are at 56.3. Well, it's got sand in it. It's not completely empty. All right, we'll say 56.3. Oh, stop moving. All right, 56.33. We'll do that. 56.33. So, let me reset up, and we'll get started. Away we go. When I do these canisters, these power nozzles, I'm always wondering if they're going to fall over and hit me in the head. Some of them have. Time to get the board of measurement. Let me see if I need to, to readjust you a little bit. Alright, come in a little bit more. Started out with 56.33, and we end up with, well, I think that's more than 27. So if we did 56.33, let me subtract 60.6, uh, 60.6, make up your mind. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but you've got to stop. All right, I'll say 60.67, right, good enough. 60.67 minus 56.33, and we're at 4.34, so that's certainly better than the sand. 
So all I have to do is multiply that times 10, and we end up getting uh, about 43%. So that's definitely better than sand. So this particular uh, power nozzle in its current form with a very worn brush roll does better with baking soda than with sand. Alrighty, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.